Okay, so this is another video of the heart and lung model. Uh, only on this one, we're going to look more at the lung structures. Um, the upper lobe that you see here, this is the superior lobe. Uh, and this would be on the right side, so superior lobe on the right side of the lung. This is the middle lobe on the right, and this is the inferior lobe on the right. On the left side, we have superior lobe, and we have inferior lobe. These lines crossing this way, this is the horizontal fissure. And this line going this way, this is the oblique fissure. This muscle right here, this is the diaphragm, and that allows us to breathe. Then we're going to take the lungs off. If we look at the heart, you notice that there's a pulmonary trunk. And so that pulmonary trunk is going to allow us to get blood out to the lungs. And so these blue vessels, this blue vessel here and these blue vessels over here, these are the pulmonary arteries. They're blue because they have less oxygen, so they're going to the lungs to pick up oxygen. The red vessels coming back to the heart, going to the left atrium, these are the pulmonary veins. We remove the heart, and we can see the trachea coming down from the larynx, and passing down this way. And the trachea okay, ends right here. This is called the carina of the trachea. And there are two branches coming off the carina. On the right side, you have the right primary bronchus. And on the left, you have the left primary bronchus. The primary bronchi will branch. So if we follow the primary bronchus, it will branch into secondary bronchi. And then if you follow a secondary, it'll eventually branch into tertiary bronchi, and so forth and so forth, until you get to small little tiny tubes that we call bronchioles. The bronchioles, uh, as we get into respiratory bronchioles, uh, and terminal bronchioles, they become microscopic structures uh, and they would have alveoli associated with them, the small little air sacs uh, where gas exchange takes place uh, in the lungs. And then just for orientation purposes, this tube right here that's running behind the trachea, this would be the esophagus, uh, and the esophagus is passing through the diaphragm. You can see it extending right here.